Hi, I'm Melanie Chen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you with me on an evening home alone while I speak a little bit about my recent reflections on life in my mid-20s. An evening home alone gives you plenty of time to reflect. A lot of my friends have had birthdays recently, so I've been thinking about aging, especially in the stage that I and most of my friends are in, which is the mid-20s. When I was in college, I had grand visions for what life would look like at 25. I thought that I would have everything figured out between my career, relationships, family, hobbies, and every other aspect of my life. Now that I'm squarely in my mid-20s, I can't believe how far my vision is from the truth. 25 is a strange age. My friends fall into many different camps. I have friends who are settling down, moving in with their significant others. Some are even getting married. And I also have friends who are now trying to figure out what they want out of life. They're a few years into working in a job that maybe wasn't all that they had hoped it would be. And I have friends who are still in school. I have friends who are going through quarter-life crises. And I've had my fair share of quarter-life crises. Depending on what you think my life expectancy is, I think I've had a quarter-life crisis every year since 2020. At least once a year, I think back to the vision I once held for myself when I was in college, and I look around at all of my peers and all that they have accomplished. I know that comparison is the thief of joy, but it was always very difficult not to compare. The fear that time is slipping away and that I am wasting my youth plagued me up until I turned 25. I'm not sure what changed and whether this is what the prefrontal cortex is meant to help with or if my hormones finally stabilized, but suddenly I stopped feeling such anxiety about the passage of time. As I've gotten older, I've grown to cherish time spent with my parents, aunts and uncles, even in being able to talk to my friends, parents and grandparents. I am so grateful to be able to learn from their wisdom. But above all, seeing that you can continue to learn and grow at every stage of life gives me hope. One of the most impactful books that I read in college was The Defining Decade by Meg Jay. Meg Jay references several stories to show why the 20s are the defining decade, the years that can affect the greatest changes in your life. However, while this is true, Meg Jay also shows how the most important thing is not when you make a change, but that you make a change. I spent my early 20s terrified that I was wasting my most impactful years, but in the past year I've taken on a new perspective. Now I'm excited to see where the decisions that I've made will lead me and where the decisions that I will make in the future will take me. From each decision and each turn in the road comes opportunities to learn and grow. I haven't figured out all the answers that I thought I would have by now when I was younger. However, I am excited to get a step closer to an older and wiser me each day. As Emily Dickinson said, I dwell in possibility.